The sun has set on a fateful Labor Day weekend in Titusville, Florida, the traditional end of a long, hot summer, the first Monday of September, and the last straw in a neighborhood feud, pitting Billy and Barbara Woodward against the folks across the street on Smith Drive, Gary Hembry and his girlfriend Kim Silsbury, their house guest Roger Pichor, and next door, Tim and Carrie Blake. Enter the gunman, Billy Woodward, crawling on all fours into the frame of his own surveillance camera. I kept a little crawling. I was on a military mission. I was going to end this war. It's just past midnight. He's slipping out of his home where his wife and two children are asleep to spy on his neighbors and the remains of a rowdy barbecue across the street. When you hunt down an enemy, patience is a virtue. If you have no patience, you're not going to make a good soldier. The next time we see him on that surveillance camera, Billy's across the street, approaching Roger and his son who'd been wrestling on the lawn. Roger's son jumped off his back when he saw me, and I shot Roger in the torso. Uh, you'll have to listen to the video to count the amount of times. Right now, I can tell you, okay. he slumped to the ground. What's striking is how calm he is, how methodical and emotionless. Billy now turns his gun on Tim Blake, standing in his carport. I followed him to his garage. He tried to go inside the door. I put rounds into his torso until he slumped to the ground. He shoots me about, I don't know, five or six times. Did he say anything? No, he was smiling. Smiling? Smiling. As these crime scene photos show, investigators later find spent bullets and brass shell casings littering the driveway. Lead punched holes in a toolbox and the doorway. There was two bullets in the door frame. I had to call CSI out the next day to come pull them out. But most of Billy's shots find their target. 11 bullets hit Tim Blake. I got still a bullet in my backbone, one in my leg. And what's, what's racing through your mind at this point? I was going ahead and saying my prayers. Stuff was flying around my face. I just kept getting shot everywhere. And then I was like, damn, I'm already dead. I just ain't had time to die yet. I opened the door and saw you laying in a pool of blood. Didn't know if you were dead or alive and closed it and called 911. Carrie, did you think you were going to be killed? I did. I truly did. I thought he was going to come in the house and shoot all of us. Then, a deathly silence. But Billy isn't retreating, he's reloading. A fresh clip with 15 more rounds. And now Billy's ex-friend, Gary Hembry, father of the little girl in the birthday present spat, follows his girlfriend, Kim, out their front door, straight into the line of fire. Gary Hembry come out of his garage and said, what the hell's going on out here? Hmm. And I had a clean shot at his chest, and I put one dead center of his chest. He slumped to the ground. These official police sketches obtained from court records by 2020 show the position of Gary Hembry's body just a few feet from his front door. Trapped under her bullet-riddled car next to her wounded boyfriend, Kim sees Woodward closing in. He came back and I watched his feet walk up very slowly and he emptied the rest of the clip out in my boyfriend. At some point, Billy returns to his first victim, Roger, with Roger's son watching in horror. And my dad was just laying there like this. Mm -hmm. And he pushes him over because he was laying on his stomach and flipped him over and like pushed his head. And he, his head just went like that and put it right to his head, point blank, just And shot him again? Two right to the head. And in order to make sure there are no survivors on the battlefield, I point blank shot him in the head once or twice. So I ran, and I'm still running. Tim Blake is alive today for one reason. Because I was out of bullets. OK, so you ran out. I used 31 rounds, two 15-round okay. clips and one in the chamber. And you ran dry? Ran dry. OK. On three people. 
ran dry as if he'd been watering the lawn instead of mowing down his neighbors. Billy walks back to his home as another neighbor calls out, you all right? Billy's answer, like ice. I got them all, he says. Minutes later, that camera's still recording as Smith Drive lights up with first responders. Tonight, a Titusville man shot 11 times by his neighbor. Billy's wife, Barbara, says she slept through the whole thing. And when she wakes up, she believes her husband is a victim. You thought your husband I had thought been my husband was dead. Did you know that he was capable of that kind of violence? The man that I know and I believe in would not just go shoot some people because he was angry. Something had to happen. Days later, Tim Blake comes to in a hospital. Detectives arrive to break the bad news about his two other neighbors. I, I can tell you that Gary and Roger didn't make it. They didn't make it, OK? You're the only one that lived. After the shooting in a police interview room, Billy Woodward waves away his Miranda rights and starts talking. He seems to lose his head for a moment. And these what people with me and with me and with me with me with me. Listen, listen to me. This detective is probably thinking, we got him. He's confessing in detail what he did, how he did it, in what order he did it. But as it turns out, this becomes the seeds of what is the defense. Now the war's over. Is it? I promise you, those people will not harass my family or me again. And do you feel like you should go to jail for this? No. Because I have pleaded, I have begged, and I have asked for help. No, I don't deserve to go to jail for this. Those sorry deserve to go to jail for what they did to me and my family for the last month, making us live like prisoners in our own home. Well, yeah. I'm a soldier. I fought the war. I fought to win. And I won. When we come back, Billy Woodward now looking more like a salesman than a soldier. But he's still fighting, fighting to find a way out of jail. And how about that look on his face in that mugshot? What does he know that we don't? Is there something on that surveillance tape that could set him free? War had been declared upon my house and family. Do you not understand that, sir? Stay with us.